Hey guys, it is Scott the Steamroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Thursday, the 27th of October. This is your play of the day. Hey, before we get to that, we'd appreciate it if you take a minute and smash that thumb, give us the like. You guys always do a great job, and you know we always appreciate it. Of course, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Join the cool kids over here at the Winners and Winners YouTube channel. Hit that bell, get notified every time we put up brand new content including great shows like Once Upon a Time in Las Vegas that'll be dropping later today. Huh? How about that? Another episode out. Um, we're finding our groove. We're, we're kind of getting uh, we're getting tighter, we're getting funnier. So if you haven't checked it out in a while, make sure you check it out. All right? And of course, we want to know what you're playing. Whatever you got cooked up for today, put those plays in the comment section. You get them right. You make a profit. Hey, we'll give you the shout out, give you the recognition that you so deserve. And you get enough of them right, you make enough of a profit. You could be the capper of the day, and if that ain't enough for you, hey, put those best plays in there. Put the very, very best play in there. Make a, make sure you denote it with a BB to let me know that's your favorite play of the day, and uh, we'll tally it up. Everybody gets one per day. At the end of the week, we tally up the scores. We find out who the capper of the week is, and uh, speaking of which, got a double barrel, uh, got a double barrel shot of fun coming here a little bit later today as we uh, post. Our Capper of the Week videos, uh, a two-pack this time with the Capitan, Brian Gillahan, and uh, we're getting uh, Montana Clayton on as well. So uh, two guys that have been crushing it lately, so make sure you tune in and find out what our football underdog plays will be. But before we get to all that, take a look and see how we did yesterday, oh, shall we? Hey, Bucks, not a good first-half team, but man, they uh, certainly turned it on Second half, uh, Giannis, as so goes Giannis, as so go the Bucks, And that was the case in the second half as they pulled away and uh, easily covered the four. Went two and one on the premium side. Uh, crushed another couple of basketball games. Missed a hockey play. You know, I occasionally take a spin on the Islanders. And uh, we had the over six. That did not get home. But we did have the Raptors plus two. And our best bet of the day was the Nuggets minus five and a half. Psst, Lakers aren't very good. Pass it on. Um, so, uh, if you're looking to get my premium plays, like I said, I, you know how I run guys right here and I'm right about here right now. So now's a good time to get signed up. We've got 50% off. If you use the code TLV four R S S five zero, of course, nobody expects you to remember that code cause it's ridiculous, but we do put it in the description of today's video. So make sure you check that code. There's a link that'll take you right to my plays. I got packages available. I got basketball. I got football. I got my daily best bet. It comes with a guarantee. It normally 50 bucks. Hey, we'll knock it off, make it 25 for you. And like I said, you don't win, you don't pay. So make sure you get over there and sign up for that. All right. So, uh, of course, our sponsor, No House Advantage, sports uh, fantasy sports redefined, bet on player over-unders, shot to win 21 times your bet if you play against the house, or you can play pick'em contest against other people for cash prizes. Check out nohouseadvantage.com or use the app. Uh, when you do, use the promo code W and W, all spelled out like Wand W. Get a first time deposit, uh, first time deposit bonus up to fifty bucks. No house advantage. Be there. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got cooked up for today. Hey, it's an NFL game that, well, probably looked a lot better at the beginning of the season, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, it's the Ravens, the Bucks. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, log jams and mediocrity in both their respective divisions. The uh, uh, NFC, uh, NFC South and the AFC North, although Cincinnati is coming on a little bit in the North, but nobody really seems to want to win the South. Uh, it's not really a must win for either of these teams, but a win for both of them would be helpful. Uh, Brady knows two things, all right? He knows the running back, uh, the running game of the Bucks is terrible. Uh, they average 64.4 yards per game. If you're like, man, that doesn't sound like a lot. Well, it isn't, and it's last in the league. And he also knows he's going to have to throw the football to win. Uh, this is a great opportunity for the Ravens, who have, under the best of circumstances, uh, below average pass defense. It's a great opportunity against the Ravens. Sorry. Uh, like I said, they have a below average pass defense, 26, 261.1 yards per game in the air. That's 26th in the NFL. Also going to be without Calais Campbell. Looks like Peters and Humphrey are both going to seed, suit up in the defensive backfield. Both are coming off of injuries. And they are unlikely to both be 100%. Brady, he throws a shit ton of passes. He ain't throwing them very far, but he is throwing a lot of them. He averages 38 pass attempts per game on the season. But um, however, 
Uh, since he's figured out that he has no running game and it's really all on his shoulders, he's averaged 42 passes over the last five weeks. None of those weeks have been less than 40. Ergo, we're going to play Tom Brady over 38 and a half pass attempts, playing a little juice on there at minus 122. I think it's worth it. That was Bovada, by the way. Uh, so that's going to be our play. Get yourself down. Tom Brady over 38 and a half pass attempts. Minus 122 at the end of that one. You guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right. Very good. You guys know uh, you guys know how I did yesterday. And uh, let's check in and see how y'all did. Uh, mean Green Sports, 3 and 1 plus 190. Chase Fancy, 2 and 1 plus 130. And the rest of y'all, uh, your cappers of the day. Congratulations. Scott Monroe. 1-0 plus 500 had the Jazz minus 7. Thomas Bow 1-0 plus 500 had the teams uh, team total over 112 for the Spurs. Bronco Devil hitting that two-teamer, going 1-0 plus 500. He had Giannis over 29 and the Bucks to win. Chase Fancy, uh, or excuse me, uh, Daniel Angelero goes 4-0 plus 400 and sides up. Goes 2-0 plus 275. So congratulations to Scott Thomas Bronco. Daniel and Sides, because you guys are the cappers of the day. Well done to you, and well done to the rest of you guys that made a little profit out there today. Football's firing up again. Let's go have a little fun. We got Maction next week, by the way, guys. Anybody excited besides me? Okay. Uh, yeah, so good luck on all your plays. Don't forget to check out all the videos dropping today. There's going to be a shit ton of them, so get over there and check that out as well. And I'll be back tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel, doing my thing, seeing if we can stay... Uh, a little warm here on the free plays. Coming up with that chance, that pick that gives us our best chance to head back to the window. Guys, take care. We'll see you then.